Good morning. We are interviewing Teddy and Sylvia and Lily Crum, who are going to be leaving Thursday to go to serve as General Board of Global Ministries missionaries in Malawi. And I'd li like for them to share a little bit of their journey of how God has called them um, to be missionaries. Well, I think that for me, I grew up in the United Methodist Church. Um, I participated in a, an active youth group who went on mission trips and did work projects in our, in our local area and then also traveled around some, um, and that was important to me. And then after college, um, I actually had talked with my bishop. I was interested in um, joining the Peace Corps so that I could get an international experience. And my bishop said, the Peace Corps, but the United Methodist Church has its own program. It's called the Mission Intern Program. Um, so I applied for that, and it was perfect. It, it was um, a year and a half in an international location and a year and a half in a domestic location. And since I had studied um, African studies as my minor in college, I um, got placed in Dakar, Senegal in West Africa. Um, so that really, I think, the chance to be outside of the country and um, sort of broaden my worldview uh, was really important to me um, as being a recent college graduate. And ever since then, um, I've felt, and then with Teddy, and, and he can talk more about that, but we've, we've both felt um, a, a pull toward serving internationally again. And um, so we, I think that's sort of where we've come from uh, to this point. I had a very similar background in growing up in the church and mm -hmm. active uh, in the youth group and, and churches that were committed to mission and uh, were, were growing and thriving uh, congregations, I think largely because of that. They had, uh, were congregations that looked mainly outward uh, and uh, into the world in ways that we could make a difference in the world with the, the faith that we were living out. Mm -hmm. And so I experienced that and when... Uh, I did the same uh, mission program that Sylvia did, the mission intern program, which is that a program for young adults in the United Methodist Church, and uh, was in Bethlehem, Palestine for a year and a half, and then Washington, D.C., and, and really found um, a sense that that was <clears throat> vocationally where I needed to be. I knew that I had been called to ministry for a long time, but felt that mission was really the place that... Was, a, was where I fit best. And even while I served as a, a pastor, um, felt a call to be serving in mission, both in the, in the local community and beyond. Um, so uh, last year when uh, Sylvia and I were feeling called to mission again, we really, uh, we spent a lot of time in prayer and discernment around uh, what God was calling us to do and felt like we were being called back into uh, international mission service again. Um, and so we, uh, we applied to serve with the Board of Global Ministries as missionaries and we're accepted and uh, we're excited to hear about the opportunity to serve in Malawi, which is one of the fastest growing uh, areas of... You drumming? Lily's practicing for <laughs> That's worship kidding. in Malawi. Um, is one of the fastest growing areas of uh, in the United Methodist Church. They started 40 new congregations last year. They've grown in about 10 or 15 years from just a handful of United Methodists to over 20,000 now. Um, I'll be working as the director of education, so supporting the work of the um, mission superintendent. Uh, in doing educational work with um, with pastors and lay people, and then also hosting volunteer and mission teams. And we have a handful of those that are coming uh, annually now, but there are more opportunities for, for groups to be coming, uh, working with some of the different projects there. Uh, health is a, is a big issue, food, um, uh, economic development, um, They've really got evangelism down. You know, they, know, they know how to do that. The church really feels called and led in that direction uh, to evangelize. But um, as a good friend of mine reminded me not too long ago, it's really hard to save someone's soul when their stomach's growling. 
And uh, that's one of the things that the church has had to look at there is to say, uh, what does it mean for us to address some of the physical needs of people in the way that Jesus addressed the physical needs of the church uh, to be able to care for people who were, um, who were hurting and in need um, so that they could then hear the message uh, that, of good news more clearly. I think that, um, you know, having not been there yet, we, we know a little bit about what's going on and, and what some opportunities are, and we're just really excited to get on the ground and start meeting people and really seeing where we can help plug in United Methodists from here um, to come over and, and both visit and also um, do some work projects or, or um, some mission trips to come and see us. We're, we're looking forward to finding out more about the garden projects that they're doing um, they have a sewing center that's running um, and a nursery school and, and some other projects that are happening. And, and we're excited to see how folks here in the United States can, can be supportive of those projects and, and where we'll be able to plug them in when they come and um, uh, meet the people with us and, and see us there and, and um, come on mission trips. And they're also doing work with, uh, with church and uh, partners.